Beloved, Jesus has made it possible for you not just to come into the family, but for you to stay in fellowship in the family. Many of you are in families where something got let to sit. And now you're still part of the family, but the fellowship is broken. Jesus wants you in the family and with the fellowship unbroken. And so he encourages you to keep short accounts with God and to ask God to forgive you. And he will forgive you. Now, people get troubled by the second part of this verse. Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. They get even more troubled by verses 14 and 15. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. And people get troubled by this because it makes it sound like forgiveness is by works. Like God will forgive me if I've forgiven enough to get his forgiveness. And of course, we know enough about God's grace to be troubled by anything that sounds like forgiveness by works. We need to say two things about this passage. One, we don't want to say anything that takes the teeth out of it. If you're not a forgiving person, you're not a saved person. If you're not someone who forgives others, You will not be forgiven by God. That is the clear teaching of the Lord Jesus Christ. And many in this room will be tempted to leave the faith and may leave the faith, not because of drugs, not because of alcohol, not because of sex, but because of how frustrated you are with the sin of another person. That you cannot continue to enter into the forgiveness of Christ. And that will send you off into some sort of legalism, some sort of judgmentalism, somewhere other than the forgiving sweetness of the Lord Jesus Christ. But how can Jesus say this and it not be forgiveness by works? Like, I forgive enough, then he forgives me. Well, the reason he can say it like this, in order to, in order to think about it right, you just have to back up and think about the basics of what it is to be a Christian. To be a Christian means that you have had certain attitude changes. It means that you've come to see God as holy and perfect, and righteous. It means you've come to see yourself as a sinner. It means that you think it would be right for God to send you to hell because you have been that sinful. And it means that when you should have gone to hell, he sent his son to take the wrath of God on himself for you. And what that does in your soul is it makes it so that you realize you can't judge anyone in a condemning way because if anyone's going to get judged in a condemning way, it ought to be you. And in fact, it creates in you a desire to extend forgiveness to others because you have been forgiven. And Jesus now calls us to pray in a way that proves that's happened in our heart. Lord, forgive us our sins as we forgive others their sins. Lord God, we have seen your grace. We extend it to others and we want it from you afresh. We do not go to God saying, I'm not forgiving them. You forgive me. Beloved, there are lots of people who want God to forgive them, who will not forgive others. But they have never sat long at the foot of the cross. Because when you sit at the foot of the cross, it creates a sweet appreciation for your own forgiveness and a sweetness in applying that forgiveness to others.